it's obviously also, you know, along those lines, you're, you're moving into social in a big way, Google Plus. Yes. And, and that has implications not only for users but for advertisers as well. Um, I think. Yeah. I'd be curious, you know, your take on the advertisers. How how are they? What's the uptake? Is yeah. it, you know, are they responding positively to yeah. it? Is it? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think the first step for any marketer is to have, like on Google Plus is to have a Google Plus page. Now, I saw you wrote an article saying like, why don't more sites yes. have Google <laughs> Plus pages? And I was like, looked at that and was like. I 100% agree. Why don't they have more plus pages? Um, and so that would be, you know, step uno. Um, you know, ha be on Google Plus. Have a plus page. And um, one of the things that I think has sometimes not been, because um, I think we've just been getting started, is you know, like how how do we, you know, how how does we make those really relevant? How do we, you know, include those over time with the search results and. Um, it's been really important for the marketers, like as they create those pages, to also you know make them fresh, to upload you know new content, to have more followers. But we have seen marketers that have started to do some really interesting things, especially with the Hangouts. Like the Hangouts actually provides like a really interesting way for businesses to do like customer support calls, to do you know a lot more notifications um, for industry groups. Um, actually, we I was just looking and there was this one group stutter. Uh, stuttering like group where people could get together, they could use Hangouts to connect, to actually understand and to work through some of those issues. So that I think is certainly um, step one. Um, the other thing is that we've also enabled um, ads to be plus one. Um, you can see who your friends have recommended. Um, so you can see how many plus ones if someone's in your circle and they've plus one it, then you can see that. So the idea is that ads work just like content, um, and so just like it's valuable to understand who has plus plus one or a specific um, site or a specific search result, um, the same thing applies to an ad, and and that's the way the real world works. The real world works. It's like I say, like you know, who knows, you know, a good. Um, like hotel in this region, or who likes these products, and like I ask my friends, and they recommend and they endorse specific things. Um, and the more you can actually bring that into, and make that on the internet, and make that work on our advertising, the better. If, um, <clears throat> you, you guys have kind of described Google Plus as sort of being a layer across all yeah. the properties, rather yeah. than necessarily a social network. Although it is a social network too, yeah. and people use it that way. But I, I'm wondering if you can kind of define. What it means for Google. Yeah. Um, to say a bit more about that, I mean, we we had one article that was saying, well, the, the, the usage on the site is only three yeah. minutes, and yeah. other social networks have yeah. gazillion minutes, yeah. and yet that doesn't necessarily mean it's not useful to you in other ways. Yeah. You know, it, it, so I'm I'm kind of wondering, you know, well, if you had to tick the top five things Google hopes to get from Google Plus, yeah. you know, what are those? A gazillion page views, or you know. That's always good too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I think my my view about or the company's view about this is, um, I think this is a sort of the I'll say the next generation of Google products, um, and the next generation of Google products um, are different because we know um, our users are logged in and they're telling us something about them. Um, and because of that, we're able to customize the results a lot more than we, c we could in the past. So Google Plus, yes, it's a social network and it's a big way to actually connect with your, with your friends, to share in different ways using the circles, but it's also an opportunity for us to be able to work across our products and for us to be able to say, you know, um, based on what we know about you, these are the useful and relevant things that we think would be good for you. Um, and so if you want, I mean, for search to really work, sort of what's the next generation of search? How does search change? Like how will search be different? You know, if you think like 20 or 50 years ago from now, like, or 10 years from now, or five years from now, like do you think everybody should be getting the same search results when they type in a specific word? So like when I type in, you know, best vacations, okay? Should I get the same best vacation as like somebody else? Um, out there, like, should I get it? You know, I have kids. I'm probably not going to go to like a disco in Florida, um, and I'm probably going to go to Disneyland. You know, or I'm going to go somewhere different. Um, uh, or, you know, when I type in, you know, information about search, like, you know, I already know a lot about search. Uh, I work at a search company. Um, so, you know, how do we make 
the, the information more useful and more relevant and more related to what we're interested in. And, and that's really what Google Plus is about. It's about moving to that next generation of much more personalized, much more useful, and a better experience. And I think because we're early, it's not, people don't really understand that as well. Um, but that's the vision, and that's why I think we're going to be able to get to. And that's why I think it really is going to provide much better experiences in the future. Um, and I, I, see, I see that coming. It's, it's going to be here.